VH1 is planning to honor the life and legacy of Matthew Perry, who died October 28th at age 54, with an exclusive Entertainment Tonight news special. VH1 and ET present Matthew Perry, Life and Legacy is set to air November 7th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time slash Pacific Time on VH1 and Encore November 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time slash Pacific Time. The tribute special will feature archival footage and never-before-seen interviews of Perry at various stages of his life, reflecting on his career. The special will call from set visits by Entertainment Tonight, which was on the set of all of Perry's projects, and will share stories about his best moments playing Chandler Bing on Friends.it also will recount some definitive moments in his life, including his friendship with his co-stars and his work helping others struggling with addiction, and feature new interviews with his former co-stars and the close friends he spent his final days with. In addition to Friends, Perry also starred in the feature films The Whole Nine Yards and its sequel, along with Fools Rush In, Almost Heroes, Three to Tango, and Serving Sarah, along with the TV series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. Mr. Sunshine and Go On Matthew Perry was a beloved and incredibly gifted movie and TV star, said Scott Mills president and CEO, BET Media Group, whose portfolio of brands includes VH1. We are deeply saddened by the news of his passing. Matthew's versatility in numerous starring roles and cutting-edge comedy helped him become a household name. We join so many in celebration of his life, and we send our condolences to his family and all his friends around the globe. Perry was discovered unresponsive in a hot tub at his Los Angeles home around 4 p.m. October 28th, law enforcement sources told the Los Angeles Times. On October 29th, the coroner's office said that Perry's cause of death had been deferred. That typically means that an autopsy has been completed, but the examiner needs more time and additional investigation into the death. An initial toxicology report found no fentanyl or methamphetamine in his system at the time of his death.